standing by. Copy. UAV orbiting the AO. Enemy is securing Bravo. <laughs> securing Alpha. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh! Yo, welcome back, guys. So, in today's video, I want to do a comparison on the Bryzen 800 versus the Bryzen 890. Now, in my last video, I kind of settled on the Bryzen 800 without enough testing on the Bryzen 890, which part of me kind of felt like was going to be the case. But now that I have almost as many kills with the 890 as the 800, I have to take back what I said in that video because I actually like the 890 better. So today we're going to talk about the differences between the two and why I like the Bryson 890 better than the 800. So I'll go ahead and show you guys my Bryson 800 class. This is it right here. Um, you'll notice a lot of similarities between this class and my 890 class. Now the main difference between the two is that the 890 has a magazine attachment, which I currently do not use, and it has a shorter barrel. All the barrels on it are shorter. On the Bryson 800, we have a 29 inch, and on this one, we have a 21. So why do I like this shotgun better? Why do I think this is the best one in the game for my playstyle? Well, it has two extra rounds in the mag, so we can start there. It, it's definitely better for um, going on streaks with, trying to get feeds with, especially on a lot of these maps, you have to shoot people at pretty long range, so it takes more than one shot. Having those extra two rounds is very useful. Now, in my last video, I said without fast hands, I think the Bryzen 800 is better. I do still stand by that. Without fast hands, this thing can get you killed quite a few times in even a single game, and that's because you cannot reload cancel in this game. Once you remove that magazine, you are committed to the reload. The only thing that will save your life at that point is a weapon swap, which you can do, but fast hands is pretty quick to get in game. You only need probably four or five kills pretty early on in the game, and you'll have it before you know it. So that's pretty much a non-issue, and I do still have the snake shot as my secondary to swap to if I need, so it's not a problem. And then the second key difference here is the uh, barrel, the shorter barrel. And like I said in my last video, I have not noticed any difference in one shot kill range, any difference in damage range up close. I've noticed absolutely no differences between these two guns with the class setups that I have. That being said, there may on paper be a slight difference due to the shorter barrel. This may have a little bit less damage range, a little bit less one shot kill potential, but if there is a difference, it is completely negligible. I do not notice it whatsoever. I have about 2000 kills with each one of them. I notice no difference at all. So that just leaves the added benefit of the mobility of this thing, which it is definitely more mobile having that shorter barrel. You, you move with it faster. It's easier to swing around and maneuver. I just have overall better luck with this. And I would go as far as to say this is the best shotgun in the game, with its only competition being the 725, but that really comes down to play styles at that point. The 725, you're going to have to play a bit slower with because it only has two rounds before you have to reload. I would highly recommend fast hands on this as well but even then the reload on it is not amazing considering you're only getting two shots per reload it's not really my play style now running the snake shot as a secondary you may be able to get away with this no problem that's something i have yet to try i'm still kind of stuck on the price in 890 just because i like it so much but in my opinion, the Bryzen 890 is definitely the best gun in the game. The best shotgun in the game, I should say. There's definitely some other guns that kill just as fast as shotguns, but we're not going to talk about that. So yeah, there's pretty much uh, nothing left to talk about. If you guys want the full best class setup breakdowns with my tunings on both of these guns, on any of these shotguns, you can go check out my playlist. I have class setups out for all of them now. But just wanted to make a little update video and let you guys know which shotgun I'm running with now, which one I think is the best. And yeah, let me know down in the comments which one you like better. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more shotgun content, and I'll see you in the next one.